Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. We uh, got an outdoor project. Uh, for the longest time, uh, we have been stretching a garden hose as far as I could across the yard. And sometimes I can make it into the far corner where I need it, and other times I wouldn't be able to. When I built our fence, I had about four fence posts that I couldn't even get water to from the garden hose to where I was pouring the concrete because it was too short. I'd have to put in a bucket, dump the water in, and it's not ideal. So what I wanted to do today was actually make a remote water spigot. And uh, it's gonna be a very simple project. Uh, a lot of you guys will be able to get a lot of use out of it. You guys can uh, run this supply system out to uh, where your animals are, uh, barns, sheds, wherever you need it. Uh, if you have a shop like I have, you guys will be able to have a sink outside and run a uh, water system like this out to that. Um, if you guys are up north, you guys might want to take uh, different uh, precautions during the winter time with this system because you could have your uh, little pipes freezing or uh, something like that. But uh, this is a very simple uh, project that we're going to be doing outside today and uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you what parts you guys need to do this. And this is it right here. There's not uh, too much that goes along with it. So let's start with the main thing and what I'm running is half inch PVC pipe. And uh, I got a couple sticks of that. You guys will have to vary how many sticks you need. I bought seven, but uh, if you guys need more or less, you guys would have to adjust for that. Um, we'll start with the next part and this is gonna be the elbow. Um, I only need a couple of these, but uh, it's so much cheaper to buy the contractors pack with these elbows So I went ahead and did with that and I can always just put them on the side and use them for later And then again with the contractor uh, pack I bought these couplings because I need them to connect all the PVC pipes together So that's gonna be the main connecting points for all your PVC pieces to go to to go from your original water spigot, you are going to need some kind of adapter. And I found this leader hose. All these parts were bought at Lowe's. So this is a leader hose and it's a female to female. And the reason why it's female to female is it's very hard to find parts that connect um, your garden supply, like, um, like this end right here, the garden end, to what they call a national pipe thread, which is something along that style of thread so as you can see the thread on the garden hose is much more spread out than the national pipe thread style so you guys will have to find all of these parts or create your uh, your own kind of setup but so i got a leader hose that will come off and connect to this adapter right here and this adapter is uh, the garden hose style to a national pipe thread style. So right there, you guys can see the difference in the threads right there. So this side, the one on the right is the national pipe thread, and this one is the style for your garden hose. And then from there is where we're gonna be adapting it into the PVC. So we have your garden hose, and then you're gonna have your adapter. And then what I have is an elbow that has the national pipe thread on the inside. And then it's three quarter inch. And then I have a half inch slip end. And from here is where it becomes very easy because we're gonna be transitioning into only half inch PVC. So from there we'll be using all of the couplings, the elbows, and the um, PVC. And then we'll end up at the very end with this part right here. And this is a slip side to a half inch threaded side. And then that will go into this spigot right here because this spigot has national pipe thread on the inside. So that is the basic of it. Now, like I said, if you guys are up north or something like that, you're gonna want to have some kind of extra precautions about like draining your line, stuff like that. So this is where the next parts come in. And on the corner of my house at the lowest point, at your lowest point, I am putting in a T. 
and on the tee we'll run uh, this will be like a corner right here and then I'll have the outside I'll have a piece of PVC pipe very short and then I've got a ball valve so that I can drain out my line whenever I'm done with it whether it's every day or if I only use it two or three times a month I can go ahead and drain it that way there's no residual water just sitting in there and um, it makes it a lot easier to maintain and to connect everything together we have bought in this little handy pack of cement and primer you guys will prime first cement after so lots of rambling on lots of uh, discussion about what we're using so let's go ahead and put it together all right so we're here at the very beginning and i've got a y connector that i've had there forever and i'm just going to be attaching the garden hose the leading and to this now if i had a uh, choice i'd turn or i'd make that a brass section just because they're a little bit stronger so i've got my pvc here and i want that directly under my faucet that way if i ever want to do anything it's right here if i want to shorten this hose up i can but for this i need to go ahead and attach this to my garden hose all right now i've got my little brass adapter and i'm going to be attaching that onto my garden hose And then I've got my PVC piece that's gonna adapt from my adapter all the way to my actual PVC pipe. So we'll first be taking the primer, and this is what pretty much cleans your pipe. We'll go on the inside and also the outside of your pipe and then we'll use the cement and so that piece is complete now so now we have our main connection done we're at the corner of the house and this is where we're gonna be making our drain portion using our T-fitting and our ball valve. And what I'm gonna be doing is kind of butting these two up against each other just to see what and how everything will fit, where it needs to go. So we can cut this one right at this point. And we will have this fitting kind of like that, a short section, and then the ball valve right here on the end. Now we have that section and now we can go ahead and cut out this little piece that we're going to put the ball valve we're going to make it this big and then we'll be able to clean and then reattach these to the main section We'll put that right there for right in a second. We've already got that cleaned out and now we'll clean the ball valve. And then next up is the cement. So we'll put some of that in there and there. Put this part in.
And so there's our little drain section right here. We're at the uh, coupling area, and these are pretty straightforward, the exact same thing. Oops. We just put uh, cleaning on there first, and then we'll put the cement on these as well, just to make sure everything holds nice and tight together. So now we got the cement. We push these two together. And that is that little section. And we got uh, four more of these couplings that I gotta put in, and then we'll actually get to the upspout portion of the whole deal. We're gonna be working on the upright that's actually gonna hold the new garden spigot. And I went ahead and measured how high I want it to be, and I want it to be three feet. And one thing you wanna always do when you're uh, messing with stuff is always check one of your original ends. This one's got a little bit of a deemed up area, but it'll still be fine. Thought it had a big nick in it or a crack. So always make sure you check that before you start doing everything in case you have to trim off uh, something before you actually cut. So now we will go ahead and make our cut. And this is going to be close enough. So now we've got that cut made and we will have to get our little adapter that goes from the PVC to the national pipe thread. This is a slip to threaded. And we will get some more of the purple primer, put it on the inside, and then the outside right here. And we'll go ahead and do this other side as well. I've got the other section already primed, ready for the cement. And then, obviously we'll take the cement now. And you can either go inside or outside, it doesn't matter. Push that nice and tight. And so now we've got a, a good connection between those two adapters. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this. I don't really know if you need to or not but I guess for good measure, I'm going to. If any of you guys know if it's a necessity or not, let me know. I'd be interested to know that. And so now we've got this section and we'll just screw this on to the pipe. Got the cement on this piece right here. So we've got to shove them two together. And I've also went ahead and made sure that my uh, spigot was where I wanted it. I wanted it right between the downspout and this four x four. And I'm gonna put some clamps on here with like a little spacer behind it. So that kind of sits off the four x four. All right guys, so it is all finished up. I've got everything all glued together. Let's go ahead and check it out and just see how it is. Make sure we don't have any leaks and uh, just go turn it on and see what happens. All right, so we have one of our connections right here and that looks good. All of our couplings looked good. So now I'm over here at our elbow at our fence 
and that looks good and doesn't look like it's leaking at all. That looks awesome. So now we have that all good and we got flow here so now we can actually hook up a hose if we needed to. Let's go ahead and check out that drain. You don't have to put this drain in but I did it at this point because if I ever wanted to drain out the lines like for winter time I don't have a hard time. And there we go. You guys can see that it's uh, actually working. It's at the, this is at the lowest point of the whole entire system. So now that the water's been turned off, you can see that everything else is uh, just kind of piddling out of there. It's not gonna gush out like uh, it was a second ago because it's not actually on. So now we're just running all the extra water out. Thanks guys for stopping by today and checking out this little video. It was a fun project, something that I wanted done for a long time and uh, it just took, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to do that. It wasn't very expensive at all either and it'll save me a lot of hassle from having to pull a hose all the way across the yard or attaching a second hose to make it all the way to the corner. So now I have other options instead of just that single hose at the side of the house. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next project.